Welcome back to Anno 1800, folks. And Station. just as I loaded into Ship the game, destroyed one of my schooners. Damn it. Uh, we're going to send a ship over here and check. Uh, what's this one? You're patrolling. Stations. You're patrolling. You're patrolling. We're, we're going to pick up this stuff. So she sunk ship my, my ship on the... Um, you can rely on us. Jesus. Whoa, 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 whoa. That's a lot of ships. Uh, let's get our fleet out here. Uh, you, Morning, you, ready. and you. I have vanished you. No, you haven't. A right. ship you Attention, was destroyed. Damn, Margaret. Right, you get back here. Sheets and braces. Ship under attack. Uh, you deliver the ship. Please. Actually, just uh, set you on the trade route. Uh, here. Uh, what was the ship's name? It was Morning Dew. All right, Morning Dew, you are going on our trade route here. Uh, remove you, and Morning Dew, you are on it. All right. Ship under attack. Uh, did I not confirm that? No, I didn't. Uh, morning Dew, ship accept. Was destroyed. All right. So. Let's destroy some ships here. Is this that's a clipper? Uh, we have a frigate here. Let's join that with the fleet. Jesus, Margaret, you are one crazy ass woman. Alright, uh, we have some ships on the way. We're gonna get more on the way. We're gonna need them. Where are our ships? They took something down, or they took something down. I'm not entirely sure. Jesus Christ! Was destroyed. We just lost all our ships. She has gone completely crazy. Was destroyed. Uh, let's see if we can't build ship was destroyed. some cannon towers. Uh, let's try and build one there. One there. One there, one there. Ship All right. under attack. Crazy. Margaret, you mean, mean lady. All right. We need to pump out these ships as fast as we can because she Your is going crazy. Is under attack. Yeah. Um. That's in the new world. Our. Take it before I change my mind. Yeah, I'll take the gift. Alright, she is taking down my harbor. I don't have the weapons to build anything there. Damn! She is one mean lady. Evil, in fact. Evil. I will take a flagship from her. Uh, why can't I buy it? I, maybe I can't afford it. I might not be able to afford it. I joined them again in the fields. Oh uh, yeah, I'll I'll take that flagship, flagship and sail it much over longer. here. Yeah, we no, lost our island in the new world. Child. You crazy bitch, Margaret. Of course, nobody wants you to lose your island. 
bullshit, Margaret. You do. We lost our island. Well, Alright, we're pretty screwed here. I think we might have to start over. Well, we'll try to fight through. We'll try to fight through. Um, let's keep our Ship flagship in here. We have another ship under attack. A clipper. Luckily, it's empty at least. Uh, all our stuff here. Man! Mean, mean woman! You mean, mean woman. The ship was destroyed. Alright. Well. We have some defenses here at our main harbor now. Now, we need to get some guns over to our other harbor. That ship is going down, at least. Yeah. There we go. So, can we load some guns on... You, for instance. Um, let's load some guns on here. Frigate first class. I hope it's enough to get some guns built up here as well. Now this is gonna hurt our economy something fierce. It really, really is. So we might, we just might be screwed. We just might be screwed. But we'll see. I mean, she just had too many ships. Too many ships. Coordinates plotted. Well, we got some of our stuff back. Who's this guy? Movement speed plus 15% damage, slow down minus 16%. Alright, we have something to do with our trip to the land of lions, though. Why it's wide. Sun touched lands stretch out before us. Long pale grass glittering with the night's rain, while a scattering of trees provides occasional shade from the already warm orange sun. Unseen among the dense matted grass, multi two tudinous creatures awake to the dawning day, nattering away gaily as the savannah comes to life. A low dell not a mile away hides a blossoming waterhole, where numerous strange and foreign beasts are gathering before the day. He truly begins nestled in the shadows of a set of monolithic spurs, looming high above the plain, surely with views worth worthy of kings. Scale or head to the waterhole? Uh, let's head to the waterhole. The party edges stealthily through the high grass towards the hidden waterhole. As they reach a ledge where soft soil has fallen into the muddy water below, they gasp in wonder at the teeming life gathered here. Scores of creatures huddled by the water, tall necked giraffes spread their legs awkwardly to lean down and lap the surface, while nervous meerkats and contemptuous gnus eye the waters warily and with the suspicious profile of those drifting logs it's not without reason suddenly this ground shakes the wheel about to see a man you wheel about to see a man manifestly infuriated rhinoceros charging at your company we don't have anything to give us uh hmm an edge here, so let's just do that. Your crew scatter as one tall woman may made lean by years of working in the rigging steps out up out of the grass to face the charging beach. She straightens proudly, defiance flashing in her eyes, and waits for the inevitable blow. At the last instant, she steps gracefully aside, sending the beast hurtling into the thick tree behind her. Stunned by the impact, the rhinoceros staggers slightly, shaking its head to ex extricate its horn from the torn flesh of the tree. Uh, attempt to capture it. Look what blew up the blowhole. Reward discovered. Nice. Several sailors nimbly tie the 
creature's legs together, carefully avoiding its thrashing head. The rhinoceros struggles against the binding, kicking up violently, but your men tug on the ropes and the beast comes crashing down on its side, motionless but fuming. It takes considerable effort to drag it back to camp, but the dumbfounded look on the rest of the crew's face is worthy every bead of sweat. All right, a legendary black rhinoceros. All right, we're definitely keeping that. We're definitely keeping that. And it gives force. We, we can't put it down there. So I think we're going to get rid of the bread. Yeah. Let's get rid of the bread. Confirm. Blessed rain. Several sailors nimbly tie the creature's legs together. Ah, that's what we already read. So we're down here. Uh, let's go to the holy city. And we'll do that. Now you have arrived over here. So let's unload that. And can no we... Space left here. Um, Ship constructed. Can we build a gun here? We need some steel as well. All right. Stations. Well, I guess we'll go get some steel. There's a Keep new. Ship of the line, we'll build another one. We need him. Now, this whole Margaret basically eradicating us from the new world is gonna be a pain in the ass. Because now we're not getting rum for our Things people. We're not getting rum. We just ain't. So, let's see if we can't make some sewing machines. Now, did we build our one coal mine here? We did. Uh, let's have a look here at artisans. Sewing machines. That cost 12,000 for a sewing machine factory. Okay. All right, so we'll have to save up a little bit, but then we can build a sewing machine factory. What's going on here? Things might help. Something happened to our farms. It seems like our uh, damn it. it seems like our mods aren't working anymore. All right, I am going to go check that. And this will be a bit of a shorter episode because I, I want to check that because this, of course, is not acceptable. So... Yeah. Man, that sucks. That means all our fields are like that. Plows change things, I'll grant you. But for better or for but, I mean, we are producing, just not very fast. And that is going to be it's all right, this, isn't bad. It? I doff my cap to you. And let's just keep going. Let's keep going in this one. Uh, I will upgrade you. All right. It's a bit weird that it suddenly stopped working. I don't really get that. I hope it works again when I restart the game or something. But we will we'll leave it for now. We are still making money, so we're not completely screwed. We're not completely screwed. Let's uh, pick up some steel beams. And 
and send them over here. Make sail. All right. So that's coming over here. Ship under attack. We have. So where is my ship that's under attack? Uh, it's my flagship. We'll, give it up and well, it's going down because Margaret is just not letting up. Let's have a look at diplomacy. Margaret, would you there is be no flattered? Oh dear, lost your flagship. Well, I'll see what I can rustle up. All right. Um... In future, keep your flagship intact. Resources yeah, I'll are try. Scarce. Chance of success zero no, for a fleet really ceasefire. All right. Unlike those who tell them. And she didn't like my flattering her either. She's a just a grumpy old lady, is she? Isn't she? I mean, really. Yeah. Uh, I'm not buying that right now. Because that would just be a waste. You are here well. to help. No, no, no. I don't want to buy that. Um. Let's head back to the old world. I don't really care about my flagship, to be honest. I just want some ships of the line, and a lot of them. Did our ship make it over here? It did. Frigate first class. So let's unload that. That'll mean that these get built. What am I missing for that? Oh, some uh, some clay. We do need to upgrade these guys. Well, I don't want really want to upgrade anyone here. So Station. let's head back and get some clay. Man, Maggie, you are one grumpy old lady. One grumpy old lady. Now, what's the upkeep on these? Only 30, so that's not too bad. What's expensive is building them. I really want my sewing machine factory. I don't think I have one right now. I like the uh, let's see. No, no sewing machine factories. So we want to get one of those because that will get our artisans paying 15 extra coins, which is a lot of extra coins. I would want those coins. You really, really do. Now, you can go back. Of queen and country. Uh, no, I'm not going to take your quest. One Sorry, Archibald. I can't do it. Um, let's get some bricks. Uh, let's just get 30 of them. And head over there. Sheets and braces. All right. Now getting this factory up and running will be nice. Let's just see. We have plenty of steel. We have plenty of wood. So I just want to build this. And we will in a second. Right. I want to build it though. There's a room for it up strong. here. There it is. Let's build it there then. You have must 
considerable forces, I must admit. All right. There we have another ship of the line, but we need more because Maggie is going absolutely nuts with her ships. So... I don't have the money for it. I don't have all I need for my canvas. No, but you will have. You will have. There's some stuff coming in. There we go. He's producing. Standing. Wow. How is it doing 200%? Why, why is that? Seems like there's been an update. That broke something. So we might need to download an update to our mods. Oh, there we go. We might need to update, download an update for our mods, I think. That seems like fragile. a reasonable assumption. That's fine, we can do that. Alright, so they will start getting some sewing machines. There's one. A life dreary and squalid. Uh, sure. A little love is all we ever want. We'll upgrade you. Well, you think it's free will, but you're a pawn. All right. Why are we suddenly low on that? Uh, let's take a quick look. Uh, so you need a bit of church, but other than that, you're fine. So where, where did all my people suddenly go? Where did all my people suddenly go? That's a bit weird. Let's see. Machine. Yeah, we have Ciro, but you are getting sewing machines now, so that's a bit more coin coming in. Let's uh, build some farmer residences. Where's our nearest there? Alright. Let's just build like that. And build like that. It's a bit more farmers, and then we can upgrade some farmers to workers, which we definitely need to do. So like that. I think that'll work. And then we can build a few more farmer residences there, a couple more anyway. Alrighty. I suppose we can build some here as well. Like that. Okay. Income is going up. We can once we transfer this, we can build that. You gained an influence bonus. Okay. So that's a bit more defense in our harbors here. Now, once we get some more ships of the line, how many do we have now? We still only have two. Let's queue up another one. We might actually want to build another sailing shipyard. Can we do that? 
We can. Let's do it. And then we will cancel a couple of you. And add a couple to you. An influence bonus. Alright. And we should get back to positive with our with our workers and stuff here. The Land of Lions has a thing. A holy pilgrimage. Tales abound of a city sacred to all in this land. And of the holy pilgrimage that must be undertaken by the faithful at least once in their lifetime. Intrigued, you dock at a busy port, a major hub for those on this journey. As you wander the streets in the cooling shade of antique Russians, the dust-hemmed white robes and sturdy sandals of the passers-by betray their wearer's devout intentions. Snippets of enth enthusiastic and fervent chatter convince your crew that they must see this holy city for themselves. You are perusing an eager trader's wares when a man approaches, ornate weapons latched to his side and back. Uh, Mahaban, my friends, are you here on pilgrimage? Aye, we come here from afar to see the holy city. Uh, no, we only just arrived in this land. Aye, we come from afar to it's see the holy city. Superstition. Perhaps he would have believed you were it not for the ostentatiously heathen jewelry sported by some of your crew. You narrowly escape a scathing reprimand, feigning ignorance of local customs and begging his forgiveness. But no glimness of the tongue can prevent him from sternly forbidding you joining, from joining the caravan. Your crew, however, are not to be deterred, and the first light of dawn finds them preparing to sidle up to the long procession of pilgrims. Discretion will, however, be warranted, and this discussion arises as to how best to avoid detection. Tail the Karen ran stealthily. We'll do that. The wadi proves harder to navigate than expected. A maze of winding, dusty corridors weave in and out of sharp, low hills, and you cannot stay a safe distance from the caravan without risk of losing them and finding yourselves stranded in the desert. As the evening nears and you set up camp, a familiar voice rings out from a ledge above your campfire. I thought I saw people following the guard. His face swathed in a long, dark cloth, draws a cool edge at sword while his four companions cock their rifles. No faithless, no faithless can travel this holy road without paying a price. So what will be wealth or blood? Uh, we will try to use force here. A brave but foolhardy attempt. Swiftly subdued by the crack, crackling of the soldiers' rifles and thumb, thump of bodies, and the thump of bodies hitting the cold dust, you expect the lead officer to exact re prompt retribution upon your crew. But to his surprise, he orders you to pack your belongings and leave. Relief turns to anger and feelings of powerlessness. However, when he forbids you from taking the bodies of your fallen comrades with you, they shall serve to illus illustrate our laws and the next mush. Mushriku, who wished to defile the whole land. You must leave the distant golden roofs of the holy city behind as you fade into the dark of night. Alright, continue our journey. Go to Sila Amidos. The last glimmer of the holy city is behind you. But where next? Yeah, we already Rain selected where stable. next. Alright, uh, give you some extra rations. What's your morale like? 58. So it's not too bad. All right, so we now have two sailing shipyards that are going, building our uh, ships of the lime. They're each building three of them. So, yeah. All right. All right. Um, this will soon fill up again. It should be fine. Now, we'll see if I can fix these mods. I really hope I can. That's having them... Basically, they're at half strength now. They're producing... Are starting to get sick. They're producing half as much as they used to. Ooh, we need a hospital. Uh, where, where are they getting sick? Uh, there, okay. 
So we need a hospital up here. Let's get that built. Could always move it later if we need be. Right, so our farmers are back up. Uh, our workers, they might, we might need to build more, upgrade more farmers to workers. those to workers see how that goes spreads across your city yeah, but, but we are we are we're working on it we're working on it we are getting a hospital right now yeah because you're an evil evil woman evil woman right. so how are we looking here they now have the sewing machines, which is great. And then we need fur coats. And we do have furs on this island, so we could get some fur coats going out here somewhere if we wanted. Well, furs, but we don't, can't get cloth from the New World, which we need. So, uh, yeah, there's no point right now. And we're gonna have to go fight her because we want our island back. I want my island back. Uh, come on, build these ships, please. It's not going super fast, but we are getting there so that at least have the workforce that they need. But anyway, I am gonna go check if there is a... Okay. Well, I was going to go check if there was a update to the mods, but let's do this first. The last tale of the Tanecher. One of the low, lower halyards suddenly snaps, lashing through the air with serpentine speed. At the sail, it was shackling swells with the seasonal winds. The ship lurches hard to port, cutting through strange mists until, with a resounding squeal, the keel grinds to halt on a pebble-scattered shore. Uh, scores of minute piles of pale sand are scattered across the beach. Thousands upon thousands of wispy pyramidia stretching up to the woodlands beyond. Dark shapes jut out of the dark. Dark shapes jut out of the sand irregularly. Fragments of ancient, der derelict, and long-forgotten vessels, carefully preserved in, in brine and surf. Perhaps something of their tale may yet to be found on this strangest of islands. All right, explore the plains. We need a the trees here stretch into torturous shapes, clad in alien-hued pale greens and green barks. Thick bushes grow errantly across the dust-swathed stone plain, while short funnel-barreled trees loom over them. One genus particularly strikes you, your fancy. Its dense bran branches stretch up like arms towards the sky, cupping the cupping the close foliage into dark green umbrellas, its bark torn oozing a dark blood-like resin. A smile of relish spreads on one crewman's face as he discovers its plump fruit to be ripe. All gather around, to, around gorging upon the fallen fruit when a woman points out the silhouette of distant houses on a mountainous plateau. Okay. Uh, we will explore... No, we will do force because that's 20%. So, the sharp biting rock makes for an arduous climb over the, these often sheer bluffs. Fragile limestone ledges, weakened by many centuries of briny winds, crumble underfoot despite your crew's experience. As you round one particularly, uh, particularly ominous spur of the cliff, a cry rings out. Unstable rocks have given way, swiftly tumbling into a landslide which sweeps away one sailor after another. When la at last the dust settles, you find the landslide has brought you to a dark chamber. Soft waters gently lap against unwary boots, and the dark sheen of a brackish subterranean lake gleams through a forest of stalagmited passages, weaving an eerie maze into the gloom. Navigation. A gangly auburn woman uh, wisely suggests seeking a path that slopes slightly upward. A rank Cloying dampness pervades the air, and your crew soon learn to follow their nose rather than their eyes, seeking out wisps of fresher air in the darkness. A hazy, chalky half-light settles as you descend 
the mountain's heart, past pillars with fantastically alien shapes. Ahead, towering buildings of clay-brown stone cluster in a colossal chamber, light dancing across the beams and naked mortar, a colony of bats fluttering away from the glare of your torches. Many scripts have been etched onto every wall, a fading memory of a long-gone people, and even a faint promise of daylight high above cannot dim the party's fascination for the scene. All right, let's study the ruins. Tokens abandoned by past visitors abound in the many alcoves hollowed out of the city's cavern walls. Silver eagles, worn green by time, join Argad. What, what the hell is Argad? Argad? Stars with missing rays and silent vigil, surrounded by crests and copper coins that trace the bloodlines of strange kings. Everywhere the relics of a storied past profess the island's position as a place of trade, perhaps pilgrimage. Yet no tokens of recent centuries seem present among the horde. A man shouts suddenly, a dense wall of tussled, prickly shrubs has mysteriously parted, unveiling a narrow path alongside the cliffside to a village on the mountain's peak. A score or so of houses, sea washed and sunburnt in red and white, rear their empty, many-eyed sides high above the plains far above, far below. All right, let's find the seat of power. The path winds even steeper through the smattering of houses to, to the summit of the hill, where a bent shrine etched with faded figures of abandoned gods sit beside a deep wall. A low stone vault leading into the cliff hides a store of rare essences. Ghee, frankincense, myrrh, santal, and cinnamon with careful wax seals preserving the hallowed contents, making it a valuable trove for antiquity dealers. A low, sturdy palace sits on the edgemost spur, resolutely intact despite years of neglect. As the party reacts, reaches for the door, a sudden howl of wind breaks the cool silence. An unexpected thunderstorm surges up from the valley below, hurling rain and tempest upon the unwary company. Uh, let's seek shelter. The corroded hinges need to be excised from the frame before it can easily be prized open, and the company slips into the dusky hall, glad to escape the swelling tempest. There's an air of rustic elegance to the faded red walls, patterned with white chalk. A low secretary of rich chocolate wood holds a wealth of parchments old and new. Who is it that comes unheeded to these halls? Comes a sudden and commanding voice. And what have you done to my door? A venerable man stands atop a nearby staircase, clad in raiment of gold and turquoise. His long beards braided with strands of netted gemstones. His hands rest on the railing for support, but such is the nobility of his bearing that your expedition find themselves bowing low to him. Uh, lie? Let's lie, because we have plus 30% for that. Reward discovers. Nice. His brows knit together in disapproving contempt. Lies are the fear of wild dogs, shame on he that cannot speak truly. Tanacher was once a mighty harbor, however, its people have long since been exiled and its king forgotten. He falters, pain flashing across his features, as with all things, even Tanacher must return to the mists. Take whatever riches you may find. I ask only this of you. Cherish the fleeting moments that you share with your kind. Too often soured too early by fate and keep the memory of this land alive. No land truly dies until its story has entirely passed from memory. He bows curtly and steps into the shadows. Stunned, you search the palace for him, but he has vanished. You do, however, find many treasures. And as Tan disappears into the fog, one man swears he saw a gigantuan figure slither to rest on its shores, nestling the island in an embrace of gold and turquoise scales. Okay. Treasures of Sile Amidos, equipped in museum, attracting us plus 50. It's legendary. We're keeping it. And it gives us diplomacy. Can we put it down here? No. Can we put you down here? No. That means that our fish are going... Confirm. Alright, continue your journey. And we're heading to the Horn of Mbessa.
and we will continue the expedition. We're down to 58% ah, morale. It's fine. It's fine. But anyway, we are out of time, guys. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and subscribe, and I'll see you next time.